Welcome back to the World Go Channel. I'm your host and self-appointed Go Evangelist, James Story. Today's lesson is in the Life and Death series. It's lesson 4.8.1. We're going to be studying the tripod group. It occurs in the corner, tri meaning three, pod meaning feet. So it's got three feet. So here it is right here. So these three species here are unconditionally alive as long as black plays correctly. It's kind of an odd shape. And so let's look at how it might be formed. Let's say black had white these two stones in the corner. They have a little enclosure there. And black plays what's called a probe or an asking move. They're asking white, what do you want, white? Do you want to play here and take the corner? Do you want to play here and push black into the corner? In this case, white doesn't want either. White wants this, this outside, but doesn't want to play this and perhaps get into a cross-cut fight that might not favor them. They don't want that complication, so they play here. Black would then go into the corner with this. White would play here. Of course, now they've got an Atari, and then they can capture this stone in a ladder, correct? Here, oops, here, and coming back and just capturing that stone one way or another. So black is going to play down. Now if white cuts, black can just simply come back here and capture. When white plays here next, black has to play here. We're going to look at what happens when they play out this side. But this is the standard one. Black plays there. Um, uh, white blocks here. And then black plays here. Notice if they play here, what shape is this? It's the bulky five. And white would jump right on the vital point, the only vital point of the bulky five. So black is going to play there instead. And now they're alive. They have an eye here and an eye here. These two stones, these two points are me eye for black. All right. White doesn't want to do that now because they just solved black's problem. Right. So white would save this. Here would be one co-threat that black would need to respond to if they wanted to save the group. And then white could play here or just throw in for another co-threat. Probably just need to play there. And then black would respond. So now black has two eyes. Oh, here's a third co-threat, Tari. All right. So that group leaves, that shape leaves three co-threats for white. It's always nice to keep in the back of your mind. Let's go back here. So it's here, and when a white comes down there, black has to play here. They don't want to play this move, and I'll show you why. White comes to here. Um, uh, black, excuse me, we're going to look at another move, another position here first. Let's say that instead of white blocking here, white says, oh, when I block here, black plays here. So let's look at what happens with white plays here. Okay. Um, the first thing that uh, black does is not this move, because white will be really happy to come here and just turn this whole uh, thing into one big uh, into one big uh, uh, eye. And you can see white can actually just come through and play that immediately, right? So black would have to block there, and then white here. And now there's no way that where, where black can play that's going to create more than one eye. So when white, instead of coming here, when they come here, black has to play this move to keep them from coming down there. Now you can see this is a zigzag four. White's already on one of the vital points, so they go ahead and play the other. And then black is able to come out to here, white blocks, and black comes down and makes two eyes. Notice, though, that if black had played this move instead, that white would be able to come and play this move. All right. And now what happens is black can't Atari from this side because they get captured, and they can't Atari from this side because they get captured. So this move here makes it so when white plays there, black can capture. Okay, so if black plays here instead, and we get into this situation, then black has to play, um, let's say they haven't played this move yet, let's say they play here, because they want to play here next. Well, white can just play there and capture those two stones first, can't they? So that's why when you're in this position here, you don't play this move, you play this move. Now, what if uh, the standard one is then here and here and, and black's alive, right? White has three code threats. One, two, and three. All right. What if black, um, when they're in this position here and white plays here, what if, excuse me, when this position and white plays here, what if black says, yeah, I'll come back and do this in a minute, but I want to push out a little bit more on this side first. This is not a good move. Black plays back to here, all right? And where if they had played these moves, they'd be unconditionally alive with two, two um, uh, 
uh, eyes. Now when I play here, why it says, hmm, these are, hmm, these are the two vital points, right? This, this, this leads to that. So that doesn't work for white. That's the pattern we saw before. But what happens if white plays this one first? Now if they're able to get to here, they turn this whole thing into one big eye, don't they? The best black can hope for is this. And it's just one eye, and one, that one eye is going to die. So black can't let white get to this second eye vital point. So they play there. Now white comes down and threatens to play here and take this away as an eye. When black plays there, white can now start a co-threat for the life and death of the group. Black takes, and now white has a move anywhere they want. Notice that this is going to be a co-threat because black needs to take another one here, right? So this is going to be a co that's going to be worth a lot of points. Let's count it. So it's uh, we'll count the number of stones in here first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, we count this stone because it's either going to be uh, captured or saved, right? So at nine, that's 18 points because there's a point for the stone, a point for underneath every stone, right? Point for the stone, point for underneath the stone. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21 points, 20, 21 and a half, maybe. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty big co-threat. So once again, we get into a position like this, and white plays here. Excuse me, white plays here. Black needs to play here. If white here, black plays there. If white here, black plays here first. Play there and make two eyes. White plays the two vital points of the zigzag four. Black extends out one more. White blocks here. And black goes down and makes two eyes. So that is the tripod group in the corner. Thanks for watching the World Goat Channel. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe and uh, send feedback, comments, requests, criticisms, etc. to worldgoatchannel at gmail.com. This is a kid-friendly channel. YouTube does not allow comments on a kid-friendly channel. Also, what you might think of is looking at, um, uh, this is a playlist that we have. Lessons in Logical Sequence. Many of the lessons are built on former lessons, so if you watch them in a logical sequence, you'll be sure and get the foundation you need before you have the lesson. Thanks again. See you next time on the World Go Channel. Goodbye.